So I'm out doing some trail maintenance on Mindbender and uh, that tree, I think it fell from this one, is a pretty major obstruction. We've built a ride around earlier this year and uh, it's been doing okay, but we'd really like to restore the original flow, which goes right through that tree. The problem is this tree is huge. It keeps going. I don't think that's, I don't think that is part of it, but it does keep going pretty far. It's a heavy tree and it was so congested with vines like this all over this area. And I, I did spend a day clearing out those vines to get at it with a chainsaw, but wow, this guy is pretty, pretty solid and, and obviously much thicker than I can do with this handsaw. So I'm, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. I'm thinking leave the <laughs> leave the right around as it is and just ignore this log. <clears throat> I'm not doing maintenance today because yesterday was a high wind day and I was expecting a lot of downed twigs and maybe some obstructions that would need uh, clearing but so far yeah I found a lot of a lot of twigs down but really the trails in such good shape I kind of wish I had stowed my handsaw and machete in my pack and then uh, brought my bike out here to ride and then just stop wherever I see something major. This is not really looking like it's a much of a problem. There's something kind of here. I might want to go ahead and Maybe clear out this stuff, but I think the weight of the branch is on on that stuff. I don't know if I can just maybe scoot it off the trail a little bit. Yeah. ride it. That's, that's my standard for trail maintenance. If I'd ride it, it's done. Only problem with that standard I discovered is I'm unfortunately a bit shorter than the majority of the riders. So when there's vines and branches overhead I gotta cut them back to a higher level than I would need for myself other than that it's uh, my standard works out okay Down in here, I've seen tracks, a lot of tracks, obviously some bike tracks, but I mean wildlife, usually deer, but uh, I've seen some paw prints that uh, I'm not, well, I'm not 100% sure they're dog or 
something bigger. By something bigger, I mean bobcat. Heard a lot of people talk about seeing bobcats out here and across the river as well. Uh, I'm, I'm either lucky enough or unlucky enough. I haven't seen any yet. I ride as much as the next guy. And try to be aware of my surroundings. But uh, yeah, so far no sighting. My partner Bruce, he'll come out here with a uh, leaf blower when it's required. And a lot of these little twigs will get uh, blown off too. And I generally handle the more rare but heavier sticks. I'm not so sure he may well have been out here today because the trails look really nice except for the kinds of sticks that he usually leaves for me. It's a lot of miles to cover out here, and I skip over the little stuff just to keep a walking pace kind of going a little bit. It's easy enough to ride over the sticks. But one's of a certain size, like a little bit bigger than, than these, and even these, really. They tend to roll when you come over them with a bike tire and uh, just can knock you right off your bike. Just a simple little thing like that it could be a major hazard depending on how experienced the person is, how fast they're going. It's the blue barrel. I, uh, I cleared this tree very early spring. I remember because of the blue barrel. That'll be all for now. Hope you enjoyed.